Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make small red beans. Um, so these are the ingredients I'm going to be using. One can of small red beans, Goya, some black pepper, adobo, olives, homemade sofrito, a pack of sazon. This is the knorr. No, that's how you say it. A chicken broth. So I always throw one of these in there. And a potato. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the can of beans. And I'm going to pour it in the pot. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to rinse them. So once they're nice and clean, like this, right, that nasty slime something in there, <laughs> um, I come and I start adding my ingredients. So I'm going to start off with some pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of adobo. I'm going to add my pack of sesame. Now I'm going to add a cup of water. A little less than a cup. Then I'm going to add some olives. Add my homemade sofrito. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my potato into little squares. I already peeled it, washed it, so I cut it like this. And then I come and I'll turn it over and I'll just cut that one twice. Like so. Sorry. See? So you can see again. I'm also adding a can of tomato sauce, Goya. Then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna mix everything. And once I mix it all, I'm gonna put it on the stove and put it on medium to low so it can um, cook thoroughly and incorporate all the flavor. And it can get a nice thick um, texture to it. Okay, so now I'm turning on my stove to medium low. And I'm just going to let that cook through. So now that my beans are starting to boil a little bit, now I'm going to come with the chicken broth and I'm going to open it and pour it in. And put it in because it comes with a little block. Now that it's boiling, <clears throat> I'm going to put it on low. And let it cook for 10 more minutes. 
Okay, so this has been cooking for like a good 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to turn it off so I can set a little bit. But I want to show you how creamy it looks. Let me bring up the camera closer so you can see. Look at that. You see that's not watery and it's not too thick. It's perfect. So if you're eating it with white rice, you know, it gives it a good texture. So I just want to thank you for watching me make my red beans. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, just comment below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you next time.